Hi everyone, my name is Yukari and I will be making daily process videos um, for the, the month of July as I sketch in my Hobonichi Techo for World Watercolor Month. So let's get started. Today is day 22 and the prompt is jittery. And so I had to sketch one of my favorite things to sketch, which is coffee. So let's go. All right, so before we get going with the painting, I wanna do a quick study of um, shadows. And so I put a, a flashlight um, to the left of my coffee and um, starting overhead and then just kept moving it down towards the table. And notice that as the light source moves down at an angle, um, the edge, the outside edge gets blurrier, but the, the shadow closest to the object still stays sharp. And um, so I wanna kind of keep that in mind when I do my sketch and notice where the, the object casts shadows um, and where there are highlights. And so for this subject, I decided to do kind of a, a halfway, uh, maybe at a 45 degree angle, um, where that's where the light source is. All right, so today um, I'm going to stick with my number 10 brush and I am going to be uh, using my teal, which I created with ultramarine blue, cerulean, and a little um, yellow. And I'm using raw umber for the table. And then, um, of course, the shadow mix that I'm going to use is ultramarine blue and quin rose. And then for my coffee, I'm using gothite. All right, so you can see my sketch that I did in pencil, and I am going to uh, paint the background first. And, you know, I was trying to, to be kind of careful about um, doing the outline uh, first, but then I realized that, you know, I really wanted to, to paint even inside the shadow as well, because that's part of the table. And so here I'm going back and just painting everything but my coffee cup. And I'm going to be adding shadows later. And, and so I really do need to let this layer dry. And I did let that dry a bit, and I'm just adding a little bit of detail for the table, the greening, just a bit. And now I'm just going to paint uh, the, the coffee. Um, I do add cream to it, so it's not as dark. And, um, and then I'm adding a little more pigment and then coming around. So I'm going to be doing the, the cast shadow a little later on. Okay, so now on to the mug. And I'm really trying not to touch the area where I painted the coffee because I don't want these colors to mix there. And then I am going to um, be adding shadows to the cup. So this is for the rim. And inside of the coffee on the left hand side, it's a little darker than the right hand side because the shadow, um, uh, my light source is, is on the left. So I will be adding a little more darker areas. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm going to try to do the cast shadow on the coffee, but my coffee paint part is still not dry. And so you're not going to see that hard edge that I was looking for. So I'm going to have to let that really, really dry. And um, I mixed a little ultramarine blue with, um, with raw umber to create my shadow mix. And I think I should have just added the ultramarine blue Quinn Rose mixture right on um, because now it's not very transparent underneath. Live and learn. Okay, so I do need to let this dry some more. As you can see, there's still a bleed because um, my paint hasn't dried. And, you know, I'm really not very good at waiting. And so, um, yeah, so I'm going to let it dry. And then you'll be able to see I've added some other parts to it and my, uh, my journaling. All right. All right, so here is my finished work. Um, I use my aqua brush and some raw umber to write coffee, please. And um, so here is a lesson for all of us um, about overworking. Here, I really did um, try to fix it, made it worse, created mud. There is no... Um, there's not an underneath um, where you see the actual table with the shadow. And so really what I should have done is to um, paint the table, let it completely dry, and then just paint the shadow with my ultramarine queen rose mixture. Um, but I wasn't patient enough. I mixed the raw umber with ultramarine blue and it did create this dark but because and I was still wet it just created this mud. Um, I am though happy with the cast shadow on my coffee and um, these little darker dots in brown um, are cinnamon. I add Ceylon cinnamon to my coffee every morning and so, um, yeah, I added that to my coffee. And um, so here is a highlight. And then this is also a little highlight. Here is, um, I probably scrubbed off too much, but that's supposed to be sort of the reflected light here. Um, but anyway, yeah, coffee is really my favorite, one of my favorite subjects anyway, and I um, sketch it quite often. All right, so thank you for watching, and then we'll see you tomorrow.